Only on Five tonight, we talk to the woman at the center of a sex scandal rocking the Oakland Police Department. The woman broke her silence to reporter Dolly. In tonight. Uh, yeah, Liz, uh, this 18 year old teenager is the main character in a sex scandal involving multiple Oakland police officers. This scandal, of course, has embarrassed and angered Mayor Libby Schaff, and some suspect that may be the reason why police chief Sean Wen was forced to resign last night. I caught up with this teenager Friday afternoon after she had just finished a two hour interview with the Oakland Police Department. She goes by Celeste Guab and was there to answer more questions related to a sex scandal that's embarrassed the police department. The first one at 16. She tells me she started having sex with police officers when she was just 16 years old. She says she slept with about two dozen officers from different police agencies in the East Bay, but most of them officers at the Oakland Police Department, three of them when she was a minor. At the time you were a minor, do you feel like you're a victim? Now that at the time, no, I was happy to, you know, wow, you know, these men in uniform, you know, giving me protection. Celeste says they watched over her while she was working on International Boulevard as a prostitute even tipped her off about undercover operations. In fact, she says that's how she met Oakland officer Brendan O'Brien when she was 17. The first time we met, I was being chased down um, International Boulevard by a pimp and um, Brendan saved me. She would run into the officer again a week later and says that's how their sexual relationship began. As for the other officers, she says she came to know some of them through her mother and stepfather, both OPD dispatchers. Her parents did not know about her work nor the relationships with the officers. Thinking back at it, yeah, you know, I do see myself as being a victim because I do feel like I was taken advantage of. My mom has been working here since I was like four, you know, so. You got to hold them accountable too, you know. Um, I don't think all cops are bad. It, it, I'm hurt because, you know, OPD turned their backs on me and I was just so hurt. They were saying that I planned this as a 16 year old that I did, that I thought about this to make, um, when I was 16, to make the department look bad. And that I had this all planned out and then I'm this and I'm that and that I'm a victim and that. They should, you know, very insulting things. And what about your mom? This has to be difficult for your mom. Yeah, she said it's hard. It's hard for her to be talking on the radio to these guys that, you know, she said that that part's hard for her. The police department learned about the relationships after Officer O'Brien committed suicide last year. Investigators say Officer O'Brien left a note that led to an initial internal affairs investigation. A subsequent investigation ordered by a federal judge led to many Oakland police officers admitting they had lied during the first internal affairs investigation about their relationships with Celeste. Some believe the mishandling of the scandal cost Chief Sean Wen his job. Politically, you know, I guess things things have to happen, but, you know, personally, for my, you know, I have no negative feelings towards any of them. There are several investigations into this sex scandal, especially related to the officers who are accused of having sex with Celeste when she was a minor. Now, if true, of course, that would be a crime, statutory rape. Now, Celeste tells me she is as surprised as anyone by the departure of Chief Sean Wentz. Many community and city leaders